Hey guys, Marina here from Beverly Hills. I have a quick question. Are you enjoying that daily dose of poison along with your breakfast bowl? Oh, you didn't know about the poison? Then you're gonna wanna hear this. love oatmeal for breakfast and I totally understand you may not be a big fan because your parents probably forced you to eat it every day as a child then this video may not be so relevant to you but you know what keep watching because this is quite shocking oats should provide us with nutrition right not toxic poison this is the most alarming factors of all there's a chemical called glyphosate which is commonly used in weed killing products like roundup you know, the stuff you spray on wheat so they die and never return? Well, that same chemical you're probably eating and feeding your kids every day for breakfast. Glyphosate has been found in many oat-based products, such as granola bars, cereals, granola, oats. Many cereal companies use glyphosate in processing of their oats by spraying loads of it on the crops as a drying agent before the harvest. So in turn, it transfers into the product that we eat. Every year, more than 250 million pounds of glyphosate spread on the crops in the U.S. And then those products are put onto the table in front of your whole family. And if you have children, you're involuntarily poisoning them too. In 2015, the World Health Organization declared glyphosate as a carcinogen to humans. And in 2017, California listed glyphosate in its Proposition 65 registry of chemicals known to cause cancer. If you don't know what Proposition 65 is, it's basically a law that requires product makers to put a warning label on their packaging, basically saying, hey, this product causes cancer. Ingesting glyphosate highly increases the risk of cancer in both adults and children. But the younger children have the highest exposure to this chemical because of all the cereals and granola bars you must be feeding them. Do you want your children to die? In 2018, a second round of tests were commissioned by the Environmental Working Group, where researchers found a dangerous amount of levels of glyphosate in 75% of tested samples and in 30% of samples of organically grown. It is very concerning that people are consuming more glyphosate than they know. According to experts, to reach a tolerable dose, which apparently there's a tolerable dose that exists, an average adult would have to consume a serving size of food that contains glyphosate levels of no higher than 160 parts per billion. But according to this research, the majority of samples exceeded the levels way beyond 160. Lucky charms, all kids love them. They contain 400 parts per billion. Our classic Cheerios. Those contain 490 parts per billion. And the well-known Quaker old-fashioned oats, they contain over 1,000 parts per billion. Were you aware that you're consuming this much amount of cancer-causing poison? That is an outrageous amount. And, and that's per serving. You gotta admit, nobody just eats one serving. They're freaking small, barely enough to feed a squirrel. So if you are eating cereals in such high amounts, you are without a doubt consuming way too much glyphosate and poisoning your body and potentially be developing some sort of cancer. So if glyphosate is in so many of our favorite cereals, how can we prevent and limit our exposure to this carcinogen? Quitting oats is not the answer. Don't be a quitter. Oats are highly nutritious and are essential for optimal health. They're full of protein and fiber and provide different nutrients and minerals to help stabilize your blood sugar and your LDL cholesterol. To truly benefit from the oats, go for the plain oats, not those individually packaged flavored sugary oats. Seriously, don't get those because if you do, I will find you and I will throw them out. <laughs> There are still many brands out there that contain low levels of glyphosate that would be safe enough even for your children. I have a full list of safe granolas and cereals down in the description box, so feel free to check it out if you want to know which are the safest brands. And if you are still watching this, you are in luck because I'm about to show you my favorite breakfast oatmeal recipe right now. I guarantee you, you have not seen this before and you are destined to love it. This is my overnight chia seed pudding oatmeal recipe with a Greek yogurt twist. Let's do it! Let's make some overnight oats. They are one of the best things you can have for breakfast. Oats contain insoluble fiber which lowers cholesterol and improves blood sugar control. 
Chia seeds are also a great source of fiber. They also contain omega-3 fatty acids, iron and calcium. Now I'm adding some Greek yogurt for an extra boost of protein. It's also a great source of probiotics which helps support a healthy gut. And a generous sprinkle of cinnamon for an extra immunity boost. The dates and the banana will add the delicious sweet flavors, so you don't have to add any additional sweetener. And this will make this taste like the dessert you were dreaming about all night. Now stirring everything up with some almond milk, but you can obviously use any milk of your choice. Cover it and place it in the fridge overnight. And the next morning, it should look something like this. It's ooey, gooey, creamy and dreamy. Then I just like to add a few toppings. I like to add blueberries because they are a great source of antioxidants. I just pop them in the microwave for about a minute until they look something like this. It's like a yummy blueberry syrup. Then sprinkling some shredded coconut and adding a spoonful of my favorite almond butter. Guys, I also made a shocking video spilling the nasty truth about the most basic foods that you're eating every day and you're killing your health without even knowing it. So go watch this video right now if you want to find out which foods you should quit immediately in order to save your health. But before you do that, I want to thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you learned something from it. And if you did, give this video a thumbs up. I make videos every Thursday, so don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out my next video. I have tons of super healthy, super delicious recipes coming soon, so stay tuned. Bye!